Next, we are going to learn about do while loop in Visual Basic. First of all, let's declare a variable. So how do we declare dim x as integer? Do while loop. It's another looping concept. How do you write the syntax? It's pretty simple. Simply say do and then type while and then write the variable. Let's say I'm taking the variable here as x. x less than equals to 5. So this is the condition that I'm putting. Do while x value is less than equals to 5. Then if you hit enter, automatically you will see the construct do while loop. Everything will be automatically appearing in your Visual Studio. So now this is the loop. In between whatever you write, it's going to repeat until this condition is true. Until this condition is true, it is going to repeat. So by default, when I say x as integer, the default value would be 0. It is good to explicitly declare the value. So let me put some value here. x is equal to 0. So do while x is less than equals to 5 and I am a, I'm in a loop. So anything I write here would be looped. Let me do something. Let's write a message box. Simply type message box dot show and within the parenthesis, let's write the variable x. Done. Now come out and hit enter. So automatically, if you could see the message box, which was the indent was towards the left is automatically getting adjusted. Now, what is more important here? I am going to show you. Now here, if you see the loop is complete, you had a variable whose value was zero. And then here you are saying X is until X is less than equals to five. You show this message. Now what is wrong in the code? I'm going to first show you. Let me save this code and run the code. If I'm going to run this, what happened? The value zero has come. It is printing the value zero. But if you click on OK, you can see it is getting into an infinite loop. This is called an example of an infinite loop where you have not given a criteria for the loop to exit. You can see it will continue forever. Now, how do you avoid this kind of an infinite loop? For this, I am going to first stop the program. Okay, I have to stop the program because it has gone through an infinite loop. And why is it happening? X is zero and the value we are not incrementing. We're not increasing the value. That's why it is happening. So let's increase the value. So what is the code? How do you write X? Then you can write plus equals to one. What is the meaning of this? That means you are increasing the variable value of X by one. So initial value is zero, then it'll become one, two, three, four, five, like that. So now understand the logic here. First, it's going to write zero. Then the value of X is going to become one right and then come here one is less than equals to five yes the condition is true then it's come inside and it is going to print one again two three four now after four it's, it has printed four now it will come here it will become five so the loop will come here and it will say okay five is less than equal to five the condition is true then five is going to be written here five is written then the next value will become six now six is less than equals to 5? No, the condition is not true. Until this condition is true, it is going to do whatever you have written inside the loop. That is the concept. The moment the condition is untrue or false, that time it is not going to execute this. Let's save this code and quickly run it and understand how the printing happens. I'm going to hit on run and you can see the very first value has come 0, 1, 2, three, four, and five. Click on OK. Getting it? So you can see the loop has worked. I'm going to click. I'm going to close this. Now, what would happen if I'm going to simply say while x is equal to five? Now, in this case, let's also write something below this. I'm going to say message box dot show. And I would say loop closed. Okay, 
So outside of the loop, I'm just printing a message box just to understand when the loop is getting closed. Now think what is going to happen here. X is equal to five. Now this condition will never be met at all. Will the loop work? Answer is no. Let me run it. And you can see loop closed. So the loop didn't even went through because the condition is not at all met. You're getting it. It all depends what you write here in the condition. So what was our earlier condition? This one. Let's put it back. There is also another version of how you can write a do while. How you can write? I can also take this one and I'm going to run it. I'm going to paste it here. Last time what happened when I was saying x is equal to 5, the loop didn't even run once. In this case, what happens when you put the condition below, it gives the code a chance to do at least one what is written in the body of that loop. So here, if you see, it is going to print a zero, then it will become one and this condition is not met. So the looping will not happen. But what happened here? At least once it has printed. Let us run this. Run. So you can see the zero is getting printed. It got printed. Now if I click on OK, then loop getting closed. You're understanding how the con the way you define your condition, that's how it is going to work. So understanding your loop, how it works is absolutely important. You can continue to do more experiments and practice the do while.